Hi Crystal Souls, hope you're doing well. Today's topic is going to be what are you manifesting now? Now, now, now. If you are looking for personal guidance, by the way, you have all the information down below so you can book a reading with me. You can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. On Instagram I'm going live so I'm also doing some readings out there and also personal guidance so if you want make sure to join me and you have all the links down below. All right, it is time to start your reading so let's do it. So I used the first one with the lapis lazuli, the second one with pirate and the third one with the labradorite and then after the cards I'm going to use grids and stickers and charms as always so make sure to stick until the end. If you need to pause the video and meditate please do so and when you are ready you can find a timestamp in the pinned comment down below. So let's start with the lapis lazuli and discover what you are manifesting now. So the first card, as you can see, is the king of wands. So this is talking about empowerment for me. This is a leader energy. And this is announcing a bright future for you. So you are manifesting. And for this group, it's going to be especially connected to your passion, to your career, to your studies, to be honest. So you can see here the magic is happening. is actually embodying the magician. So that means the magic resides within yourself. And you can manifest it in your outer reality. So try to work on yourself, work on the things that are, you know, pretty important for you that are connected to your passion. You can see the crown here. So that means power is going to be provided to you. You can see the lion, so this is courage, strength. You can see all the growth and this is kind of forming a frame. So that means the future you was envisioning is about to become reality for you. So keep working on your passion, keep adapting because you can see the lizard in, um, in the hat. And you can also see this one appearing here. So adaptation is going to be providing you the key in order for you to embody the king or the queen. Um, I'm also seeing right there the insects and they actually activate the light. So that means also that the light is activating all around you. And this is because you have this flame, this passion within yourself. So use your magic. Pretty much this is the message of this card. So you can manifest that success for you. The next card is the page of one. So this is talking about originality, creativity and passion again. I'm telling you, if you pick this group, I believe this is announcing that you are going to make big improvements, especially with your career, with a passion, a project, a hobby, um, anything that is animating you and making you excited, especially. That's the vibe, that's the energy. I mean, we have wand, fire energy here on both cards. And on this one, you can see the rabbit. And a rabbit is for me a symbol of luck, success. This is also connected to childhood, so maybe a dream um, that you had as a kid, or maybe this is something you was practicing when you was a kid. Um, and this is also talking about things manifesting super fast for you and being lucky with that manifestation because that is also a symbol of luck. Adaptation again, you can see the laser appearing on the ball and you need to find balance in order for you to master that, you know, ma master this practice, um, this exercise, I mean. You can see the rubby eyes. So that can also be a stone you like. That can also be announcing passion because the ruby is connected to your your root chakra, which is your connection with the earth. And I think this is also about you finally reconnecting, planting your roots. And you can see also the kind of this vibe and energy with the flowers and the branch. You are supposed to plant your roots in a ground that is going to manifest for you a success. And also recognition, I believe, because I feel like you are meant to inspire people with your passion. So this is why your originality, your own touch is going to be very important. So try to work on that. Try to find your identity, your signature when it comes to your passion, because people are waiting for this. And with the wand and the crystal ball on top, this is reminding me that your power, your magic and the tools maybe you use um, are connected to destiny. So maybe a mission from the soul. As for the clouds, I'm seeing W and I heard a winner, so I guess that's the message here. You are going to win, but now you need to practice, okay? Because before you need to be the page and then you become the king or the queen, all right? So it's all about mastering, practicing and stepping further in that direction for you to experience that success, which is pretty exciting. 
And with the energy here, like magician energy that can be using your magic, maybe something connected to your spirituality or soul calling especially. Um, you can also be a leader because this is a card talking about a leader. So if you want to start a business or something like that, this is a big yes for you. As for this one, I think this is more connected to creativity, performance. Um, this can also be related to like spiritual, a spiritual path. So maybe divination or something connected to astrology and yes, something spiritual here I'm getting. The next card is taking to heart. So this card is inspiring you to listen to your intuition and to not take things that people project personally because what they project is pretty much what they know, what they experience. So this is just a reflection of their own reality, sometimes a reflection of their fears and limitations. So create yourself opportunities. You know better what you're supposed to explore. And you can see this little girl in the garden. So this is a place of growth. This is a place that is supposed to inspire you as well to grow, to follow um, a path that is right for you, to follow your intuition, just like what this card is telling you to do. You can see this um, this as like kind of generation. I feel like you're meant to be the one that is stepping further in your family. Maybe you was, you know, the black ship um, in your family. You felt like you never really could fit or you had dreams that your family couldn't understand. And so now what I'm getting here, you are finding your own soul family because you can see you're connecting with the animals and not, not the family around. So that is for me a symbol that you will find your own family or found the right people around you to support your dreams so you can shine because you can see the sunflowers in the background and you also embody one. You know, with a crown and the hair kind of fluttering with the wind. So you are being transported here. Transported for you to bloom and transported towards your heart, your heart's calling. Okay, so whatever your soul is pushing you to do, whatever project you may have, it is time for you to work on this one because this is going to come into flourishion. And this is what is announcing success for you with the sun energy, sunflower and fire energy. And this is announcing for you to be happy and fulfilled. I mean, this is the vibe you can get here. She's carefree, you know, she's just exploring and she's sticking around those she feels comfortable to stay with. So this is why I believe you are meant to be with people that are an inspiration and also giving you protection and comfort so you can feel better actually following this path and feel more comfortable or confident to follow this path. The next one is the Raven's Wand. So power here, power and this card is also inspiring, inspiring you to make a final decision. What I'm seeing here, I'm seeing the eagle. So this is talking about spirit. You can see the dragon tattooed right there, but also appearing here with the air, as you can see. And the dragon is for me a symbol of fortune. And you could see them appearing as gar gargoyle. I think this is how you call them. So I guess you are being pushed by your spirit guide or by your own spirit. And this is because there is some lesson, there is some improvement or some evolution for you that you need to experience in order for you to do something connected to your dream. I mean, this is obvious for me that you are meant to do something with passion and find your own path and actually work towards perfection or what you find as perfection when it comes to your passion. Because we have wand energy everywhere on these cards. And like same sun energy, fire. So something that is vibrating high. I'm seeing the flag here. So that can also be a country that is calling you. I'm seeing right there. It's very subtle. Hopefully you can see it. Um, but you can see the moon and the star. So that means to me you are meant to succeed. You're meant to shine. You're meant to be an inspiration. For the moon, I think this is inspiring you to follow your dreams. This kind of reminds me with the flow and the leaves. Pocahontas. You know how she is actually guided with spirit and the wind. This can also be that your, your spirit guide can also be embodying the wind or embodying nature. Maybe the trees because I'm seeing the leaves and the leaves or flowers all around. So maybe there is a spirit in your garden or where you live or maybe the wind is actually helping you to make decisions or maybe you have air in your chart and fire especially. 
But this card is inspiring you to be acceptant, to do your best all the time and to make a final decision so you can be rewarded and manifest this magic in your reality. So travel might be also something you are thinking of or a transition if not a travel because I feel like you are leveling up. So this is what this is announcing. Movement, I'm telling you, this is so connected. Movement, motion, you could see. Same thing with the air, you know, it was fluttering with the wind. So I believe there's some spirit, maybe, maybe the spirit in the wind is actually the dragon. If you don't believe in dragons or fairies or mermaids, it's okay. I'm, I'm just saying that for some people that may recognize, okay, yes, totally, I can relate to that. Because I feel like there's some spirit from maybe a past life that is around me and that is not maybe embodying that figure, but you can sense the energy. So motion, things are moving. And this is moving because you are supposed to take a new direction with your life. You're supposed to make improvements and also to let yourself be guided. Um, you can see on this card the clarity of the sun. So sun energy again, announcing success and clarity, but also warmth and abundance. The mountains are appearing here and there is this river in between. So you need to be like the reader. Let yourself be transported. Let yourself explore. Okay, because this is what is going to put you in the right place. With the mountains being here, this is asking you to be strong and grounded, which is what I was talking about with the roots and strong and courageous with the lion energy. New moon, promise. And the new moon was actually yesterday, so from the day I'm recording. So um, a promise here, love. And this can also be announcing, I heard soulmate, so this can be a soulmate for you that is coming in your life. You made maybe a promise in a past life to be with each other, to connect with each other. And so this is announcing that union. Or when you will be ready, this is what you're manifesting because your soul is actually craving for, you know, soul connection. I was talking about this with the family. So maybe your soul family is about to connect with you and you are, you are actually manifesting them at the moment. And this may be some spiritual calling or um, a calling from your soul because you feel the need to connect with the right people. You feel the need to grow with them, maybe doing the same passion. If not romantic, that can be your soul family manifesting for you to work on a bigger project. But for the majority, this is love here coming for you. Adding to clarity. I love how connected the energy and the cards are because this is totally, totally the energy. You are, you know, making improvement and change and taking a new direction with your life. And this is what is allowing you to add towards clarity and manifest that success for you. I mean, you could see this is fire energy. So you are supposed to see the light, to feel the light, to be the light even. So... Just be aware, this card is announcing that reflection. You possess everything within. You are creating your reality all the time. And so this manifestation is yours because you are this type of person. You believe in that reality. So you, cre you create opportunities for yourself at the moment, which is beautiful. So you are heading in that direction. For some people, it can be also announcing a new house. Or a new place to live. And with the travel I was getting here with emotion, this can also be traveling to a new place, recharging, finding clarity, finding inspiration while you are traveling and connecting with different people. That can be the message. Entertainer, which is totally again connected because I was talking about someone that is here to perform, entertain, connect with people with your art or with your skills. If you are not into the art, that is, that is fine because I was getting a leader energy, inspiration. So you will inspire with the things you master especially. So now it is time for you to practice, to connect with people. On this scene, this is a scene at a cafe or at a bar. And so you're pretty much practicing being in your own bubble and kind of spreading the vibe and the music around. 
So this is telling me that your energy and the things you spread around are actually reaching a lot of people and you are meant to reach a lot of people with that mission and career that you choose. So be aware of the impact that you will have. I believe you'll need to entertain people or inspire people or support people because this can be divination. So you can be um, helping them with their path, helping them to find the right direction, helping them to not be stuck in a situation so they can slowly move and, and be like the reader and adapt in the way. So I feel like this is so connected. Um with the cards, which is very beautiful. With the numbers I'm seeing, I'm seeing 32, so that can be um, an age, or number three is about growth, two is about relationships, so maybe coming together. This can also be a collaboration, if not a relationship, uh, a romantic relationship at least. And we have 12 here, so this can also be a dream of yours when you were 12 years old, and now you're feeling cool to do that. Or that can be number one is leader energy, new energy. And number two is connections again. So the next card you can see, honestly, <laughs> I just want to laugh. and Because look, I mean, this is fire energy and this is to bring you energy even more with a coffee machine. So this is announcing this. You are the coffee machine. You are meant to spread that energy around you. You can also be here to fill people's cup with that energy because you possess enough, which is very beautiful. So spreading that spark, spreading that passion, spreading this energy, inspiring people, guiding people. I'm kind of seeing the S in reverse with this one. So like I shared, this can be soul family connection, this can be soulmate connection. And so your energy is also what is allowing you to attract new people. And this can be romance, this can be collaboration with work. But just be aware that you attract your tribe at this moment. And this is because you're vibrating higher. It can be that you are already doing what you love to do. And so this is what is allowing you to awaken to a, another point, but also to attract people that are awakening with you. And it's funny, I'm, I'm actually talking about awakening because when you drink coffee, it's often to wake yourself up. And you can actually be the potion, you know, in a way, this magician. So you make people drink the potion, the coffee, to awaken. Maybe you are meant to be a guide. Maybe you are meant to be helping others to find their spiritual calling, mission. Teach them something. I feel this can also be te teaching um, them with, with the magic that you possess within being an inspiration so you awake them thanks to that energy you spread or thanks to you being happy doing what you do that's the vibe the helmet and because this is one for i think this is a bike or that can be a motorcycle so again motion movement and you can see the star right there so this is I think some protection in order for you to shine, in order for you to experience success. But protection is provided to you. And I feel like you will need to protect yourself. And this can be like doing spells, um, maybe doing meditation and creating that, that ball of energy to protect yourself. Maybe also calling your spirit guides to help you because with the dragon being here and also on this card, this can be announcing that protection from the spiritual world. But now I feel like you're being inspired to take risk as well, which is why you are protected um, in that path. Because this can feel a bit risky, but this is going to be rewarding for you. I mean, you are heading towards clarity. So it's obvious to me that you are going to experience something big, beautiful, and this will feel like a reward for you. So now the message cards. So I have angel messages. The first one is outdoors. Go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Again, creative ideas. So definitely connected to creativity, art maybe. 
Mm, with going outside, this can also be a place where you feel more inspired and connected. I'm seeing the fountain, so this is again announcing abundance. With the rose, this can be announcing you blooming, opening up, blossoming. And this can be announcing as well a new romantic relationship. The next one is nurture. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. It is funny how I actually talked about like a inner child kind of dream with these two cards. And this is just talking about this. You need to nurture that product, that child within yourself, but also around you. Forgetting someone doesn't mean to never think of him, but thinking of him with a calm heart. And again, you can see the frame appearing on this card. So maybe there's, a, there's someone in your picture that you want to manifest. Because with a calm heart, I feel like this is talking about energy, how you feel as well is very important because you manifest out of your emotions. So try to work on that. And the last message before I move on with the other techniques. So, a person who truly loves you will never let you go, no matter how hard the situation is. Powerful. Love this energy. So this is it for the cards. I'm now going to be using the grid and the charms. I'm going to be using the end also, so this way we can know what you're manifesting out of your hands and what is the universe manifesting with you. So first of all, I'm going to be using this one, the evolution spectrum, and I'm going to be using the charms to see what you're manifesting and where it is at. Let's see all around to get more info. Cheerleader energy. So cheering yourself up. This is what is going to make you improve as well. I have P, M. So that can be a name, a place. That can also be what you do. That can be a word that is popping in your mind. Freedom is presented here with this charm, with a bird in cage, so you need to break free. Maybe breaking free of conditioning, maybe break free from judgments, from what people say, um, from situation, anything like that. I feel like you will need to free yourself from something because this is what is going to allow you to feel um, protected and also for you to grow with the leaf. Well, that can be like with the card. You could see the leaf uh, kind of guiding you with the spirit of the wind. So maybe nature is trying to guide you and help you. With the cloud, this can also be related to a cloudy mind, maybe a situation you're not seeing clearly. So work on releasing these emotions so you can see the situation with a clear mind and a clear heart. So now let's see. I have love here and this is connected to inspiration and idea. So I feel like you are making improvement in that direction, thinking of maybe dating a new person or maybe you are dating someone so that's why you're not really thinking uh, to like introduce something, uh, not something, someone in your life. Um, draft and in between draft and plan, I'm seeing oh, so that can be a name, a place, a letter from uh, a person. I'm seeing teamwork with planning. Two players here. I'm seeing success with a pentacle. So it's in between plan and creation. I'm seeing the giraffe. So this is inspiring you to see from a higher perspective to get a better view from a situation and from a project. I'm seeing heartbreak. So maybe something is happening for you that is a bit difficult, so try to work on that. Mm. Princess, the crown, and this is definitely the king energy here. So it is time for you to regain your power, it is time for you to put the crown back, okay? Creation, I'm seeing luck, 
for you. Luck, and I'm seeing you being held by your angels to make progress in your life. With the wing, autumn may be an important season for you to create something and to make progress. Same thing, I love to cheer. I mean, we are the cheerleader right there. So you cheering yourself up is really what is going to improve these manifestations. Result, wow. We have crayons. So definitely connected to like the picture you create in your mind, the, the visual you may have for your future, the plan that you have. This can also be related to you achieving something connected to the art. This is exciting. So that was it for the charms. So for this one, everything that will fall into the end is what you are manifesting out of your hands. Anything around is the universe working on this. So I'm going to be using the stickers. Loving it. Okay, so let's talk about everything around. Yes, I'm definitely seeing travel and this can also be a travel to London or maybe you are from London because you can see this London scenery, remember this night. And that can be related to a date you had or some encounter in the future that will happen. Mm, I'm kind of seeing this as justice. You know, you defending yourself or speaking up for yourself. This is what I heard. And kind of the rabbit trying to see, okay, if this is um, connected or if this is the truth. So speak your truth and see what happens. I'm seeing dance here. So performance, definitely. This can also be mastery for me, a dancer or an artist in general is supposed to actually master something and practice a lot. So things can actually be perfect. Revelation. So there will be a revelation for you very soon. Maybe also with the direction you need to, you need to take with your, with your life, um, or that can be taking a new direction, maybe traveling to a place that is calling you. Distance. So maybe there is some distance at the moment with the goal you want to achieve, or maybe with where you want to travel, but you know, with everything that is happening in the world, in this so social distancing, this can also be related to that message. Frame it. <laughs> I mean, we had the frame popping in the reading so many times. So you are manifesting the frame uh, that you have, the picture that you have about your future. I'm saying sport, activity. So being active, okay? Manifesting because you are taking a step further. Practicing, performing. I'm seeing someone here for you. Someone sitting, creating, I think you are journaling on this one. So maybe journaling is something you can use as a technique so you can manifest more. Because this is also acting like a demand. When you write something like journaling or do some work or affirmations, for example, you are sending that to the universe. And so you can print it in your reality. Meditation. So grounding yourself, that may be something you need to receive. Someone is crying here. I feel like this is to release emotions because, you know, with the, um, the charms I was getting, there may be some heartbreak, something that is painful for some of you. So you may need to cry it out to release this energy so you can move on towards something new. And you can be happy afterward, as you can see on top of the roof and this was also connected to your hand so that means the actions you will take this is what is going to help you to be on top beautiful and yes you can see the roof on this one this was a flower blooming opening up so in your hand let's see it's funny how in the hand in the middle you can actually see two hands like being 
okay and peace. Uh, so I'm seeing one that is feminine and one that is masculine. So maybe a collaboration. I'm seeing three as a sign as well. So that can be growth, um, evolution. I heard evolution. And here it's more like peace and coming together with the number two. So you are manifesting that energy. Oh, that, this is so cute. Look at his face. So maybe being in admiration with the things that are manifesting around you or with the people that are around you. I just feel like this is pretty much you being in awe with what you are manifesting, with what is in your hands or with the people you attract in your life. And you have the pen here. Okay, so keep writing that story. Keep writing this new chapter for you because you have the power to manifest anything you want in your reality, but you have to understand your role as the author so you can write the best story for you to experience so that was your reading i really like the energy honestly so i hope you like this one let me know in the comments down below what you think about this reading if this was accurate for you and if you're new make sure to join our beautiful family and subscribe i also have some other readings with general readings and love readings or to give you direction just like this one so make sure to check them out i will see you on the next reading crystal souls bye bye so now the second pile with the pirates. Let's see what you are currently manifesting. So the first one is the nine of cups. So this is talking about achievement, happiness, wish fulfillment and rewards. Pretty good here. Okay, so we are starting big. You can see yourself practicing. And this is a card reminding you that the more you practice, the more you will make that performance, that life perfect but it doesn't have to be completely perfect for you to enjoy it all right because you can see this cup about to fall but she remains cool and and focused on what she's doing so this is reminding you of that the um, the curtains are opening so this is to put you on stage to put you in front and i think this is also a message for you to make yourself come first all the time the nine number is about perfection so definitely connected with the energy here but put yourself first when it comes to your life, when it comes to these manifestations as well, because this is what is going to allow you to create more balance in your life and for you to feel more, more complete and rewarded. With the spotlight on, on, on you, I think this is also connected to your vision. Are you taking enough time for yourself? Are you treating yourself you know, with love, with respect. Do you have some time at the end of the day to just have some self-care, to take a bath, to massage yourself, to do some exercise, anything like this? I think this may be something that's needed in order for you to find more balance because the Scott is actually announcing happiness, you feeling fulfilled and a reward coming for you. But you also have to reward yourself after doing something. And this can be just you telling to yourself, I'm so proud of you. I'm really happy for you that you made this happen. You know, so maybe looking back and saying all the things you achieved and just being happy in, in that bubbly and fun energy. So you can manifest and attract even more. With all the tools around, I feel you may have different options that you may think of or different opportunities for you. I'm seeing the A and I heard apprentice. So maybe right now you're meant to still learn in the process. Um, and then afterward, maybe you will also teach people because you will master what you're doing or what you are starting to do. On the background, you can see nature, this nature appearing. And that can also be talking about some destination you want to reach. And this can be as an image. Maybe the destination you want to reach with your career, your success, with um, relationships as well. Or maybe this is a destination you want to explore that is going to play a big role in your teaching, in your evolution, and also with the things you're learning at the moment. But with the curtains, also, I feel like something may be revealed to you that is going to play a big role when it comes to the destination you are taking for your future. The Queen of Cups. So a lot of water energy here on these two cards. So the water is connected to our emotions. So what makes you feel good? What makes you feel complete, peaceful? Because 
The Queen of Cups is someone that is very wise, very peaceful, very loving, very supportive. So I feel this is what you're manifesting. Perfection, because you was working hard on that image, on that career, on that project, on yourself maybe. And this is what is offering you this peace. On this card you can see, um, this she is actually a tower reader. So maybe you are very wise and you are supposed to use this intuition or your power, maybe divination tools, in order for you to guide all the people. Again, I'm seeing the curtains opening here. So that can also be you being on stage or something is about to be revealed again. And what I find beautiful is that on both cards, and these artists are very different. You can see the name of the artist right there. So that means they have no idea what the other artist was creating for that deck, okay? So this is not just one artist creating all of them. The picture is very different. So that means they were kind of creating the same vision for you. And which is very beautiful to see and notice on the cards. So there is something beyond, okay? Maybe you are in your own bubble, practicing, working so hard. But now maybe something is lacking in your life. And you're feeling the urge to go and explore. Because I feel with this projection, with this in the background, and that is something you are not facing at the moment. So that may be something coming later when you are ready, when you are open. This may be a new direction. This may be a change. This may be with the, the, the road, the wheel in the background. This can also be something exciting that is going to make you see from a higher point of view to see the view from a different perspective maybe your life from a different perspective with the candles right there this is talking about for me a wish coming true hopes as well is needed with the cards i'm seeing the moon so that can be related to dreams intuition that can also be related to fears why aren't you able to look beyond is there something that is blocking you at the moment because that can be the case the queen of cup as you can see is very abundant as well water is bringing you abundance a flow but you can also see this with like the golden cup and all the um, like the crystals and jewels so that is announcing success and abundance for you but I feel like there is something lacking in your life. And now the universe is wanting you to kind of recognize the hints with the scene just behind you. Kind of telling you there's something more to the story. Okay, so now pay attention. Maybe take a new direction with your life. Because there is something important that you need to experience in your life. That is going to be fulfilling for you. Because yes, you achieved a lot. Yes, you may reside in abundance right now, but maybe there is something you are craving for without completely being aware of what this new adventure can bring for you. So be open. Be open for change with the will. Okay, this is always in motion. If this is stagnant, there's no fun. And you're stuck in one perspective. You know, if you are on, on one of these, you're just going to be stuck. But you actually want to see the view from a different perspective. And I feel like this is also a message here for you. Wild at heart. So this is a card telling you to find where you belong and to find peace. Very connected to the energy from the queen. I mean, the queen is in her power. You can, you can be the queen or the king because that's a general reading here. But this is for you to find peace, to find freedom, especially emotionally. And also for you to find the right place for you. And you can see the witch exploring, floating. So again, this is inspiring you to find the flow, to... To not be stuck in your life, definitely not be stuck with events, with um, maybe with places or with relationships as well. I feel like you're supposed to be like the eagle. They were kind of chased to be in the mountains, but now you feel like, okay, maybe they are the true people, the true spirit, and I want to be wild. I want to be free. I want to explore. I want to open my wings. And not be condensed in my reality. Not feel trapped in my own reality. Because maybe I need to face some fears with the moon card. Maybe there's some heartbreak. 
that happened in the past and that is blocking me to be who I truly am, that is blocking me to do what I truly love to do. For some people this is performance, for some people this is something connected to divination or some fated mission for the soul. Maybe there is someone around you that is not supporting it. Maybe there is, you know, parents or friends around you that are a bit judgy about what you dream to do. But now it is time for you to free yourself. Because you are wild. You are supposed to be wild. And to explore openly this life, these experiences, these opportunities, if they are provided to you, this is for you to experience it. Anything that is manifesting in your life is happening for a reason. And this is because you're ready to experience different things. This is because you are ready to see what's beyond, to see what's new for you. And this is totally the message of this reading. Freedom, peace, new perspective. And this may be a perspective that you were not allowing yourself to see. But now you're really being pushed to be honest with yourself and honest with the life you experience is it satisfying completely a completely satisfying for you on this card you can see the mountains as well so this is asking you to remain strong to be peaceful just like what you can see with the water like the river it's just passing by peacefully where the tattoo i'm getting the dragon so there is a calling from your spirit the, the dragon is for me a spiritual teacher or that can be a calling from your spirit and this is also announcing fortune for you and i heard a way of fortune i'm kind of seeing the dragon again appearing in the snow mm, what else am i seeing oh well, if, if you hear some noise my neighbors or just doing some construction and cleaning the garden so that can be a bit noisy i'm sorry about that they were doing this all day i was waiting until like 7 7 p.m to record but still uh, i guess this was not my lucky day for a silent day to record but you know it is what it is um anyway so what i'm seeing here performance with the violin the violin is also the song of your soul and emotions especially so you're supposed to feel something at the moment that is guiding you and this is guiding you towards success because you can see the pentacle right here night watch beautiful here so definitely a sense of protection on that card this is also a card that is telling you to observe before taking action so you have to act when you are certain okay so take your time observe because on the back you can see this light coming through and this one is kind of like protecting these little girls slipping but first of all the the wolf has to recognize is this a threat is this someone that is helping us is just is this just someone that is passing by? Okay, so before acting, be certain. Be certain if you have to act on, if you have to act with protection, if you are just, you know, letting this light go, let, letting this traveler go. Um, this is very beautiful. You can see the mouse appearing. And this is for me representing innocence. And with the kids being here, that can also be a story you told yourself, maybe a fairy tale you wanted to experience and now you are manifesting this one which is manifesting out of your own innocence with this inner child calling and desire. With the moon appearing, this can be right there, um, a dream of yours with clarity, with um, the star, clarity, guidance because they are also guiding you, shining bright, showing you a way maybe. Mm. with the raven i feel like this is a partner of protection as well well that can be some inner voice a spirit around you the compass is appearing so that can be a travel and with this energy this could actually announce some travel and with the scenes on the background this can be if not a travel this is also a compass showing you a new direction with your life or showing you new ways to be 
or to react or to talk, to express yourself, to express your emotions, to see a situation. Because I feel you are becoming a new person and so your reality and your life is also changing with you at the moment, which is why it's super important for you to tune within and to think before taking actions and to be certain of what you want to do, of who you want to become, of how you want to talk, anything like that, okay? So try to tune within the wisdom that you possess, your intuition, and then you will see your world changing and changing for the better, my friend. We have the rainbow, which is welcoming new blessings, new energy. So make a wish, because I feel like this is announcing a wish coming true. A wish coming true, a story coming true. You could see the key also on this card. So maybe this is a new opportunity for you. A new opportunity, a new door, a new chapter, the book on the crown. So tell yourself the story you want to experience. If you are consuming content, also be aware that what you consume is also empowering your manifestations. So if you consume, for example, like positive things or uh, stories or music or videos or movies, that is the picture you want to create for yourself, you are creating more momentum to manifest these things faster. So consume things that are going to connect with the blessing, with this rainbow energy, so you can manifest that for you. Completion, full moon. And you can see the full moon on this one and the moon card right there. So definitely connected to a dream, maybe a dream person, a dream that you have connected to your studies or to a career, a future, a future project that you want to accomplish. So this is talking about completing something, completing something or some event or someone that is about to make you feel more complete, especially emotionally, because we have water energy. Mm, I'm seeing the tree in front of the full moon. So this is something that is about to complete itself in your life that is here happening for you to grow. So plant your roots deep down in the story you want to tell, in the ground that is going to support your dreams so you can nurture yourself while you are growing. And I feel this is also a message for you to nurture your dreams because they are about to come true. Loving it. And that can also be announcing that something is about to manifest, especially when the full moon will happen. So try to pay attention to um, this time especially. And that can also be telling you to make a wish when the full moon is going to be here. Maybe doing some meditation, maybe doing some, um, like some journaling. Because with the book here, that, that can also be the story you want to write. Because that is going to empower the manifestation. Between words, wish come true. Words. So very connected to the story you tell yourself, the word you spread. Because this is what is actually manifesting your wishes. And honestly, these are so connected. I'm so amazed. Even for the first group, I was like, this is crazy. All the cards are so connected to the story. I just love to be a messenger. <laughs> but yes, I mean, the blessing, I was talking about a wish coming true. And this card is just actually announcing this. And the word with the story that you're telling, the word you're spreading, your energy. And you can see right there the shouting star. So this is again announcing that your wish, all the things you wish for, is about to enter your reality. It's about to be in front of your eyes for you to notice it. This is not behind you anymore. The picture is in front of you manifesting for you so be ready to receive i'm seeing the number nine again appearing so manifesting your perfection which i think is what is going to make you feel complete because you are creating the picture the reality that feels satisfying for you wow the promise so there is a promise maybe you made to yourself or to someone and now this is announcing that this promise is going to come true. 
which is again very connected to this energy. Make a wish. That's maybe a promise you made to yourself to make it happen, a goal. And so now, boom, there is the blessing. There is that completion. You're magical, my friend. You have to understand that. And this is why anything you wanted to experience, anything you was wishing for, the promise you made to yourself or to others, this is about to be complete. You're about to make that happen. Okay. I mean, <laughs> uh, we had the story, right? The story, the book, and this coming true. And I was telling you, you are the author. And here it is, the pencil. So you can write your own story. And a lot of them. So that means you are supposed to write so many different chapters. So you are provided all the tools that you need. Very beautiful energy. And... You could see the, um, the little prince if you read that book. That can also be related to the story you want to write. But that can be connected to like childhood wishes. Because with the, the kids appearing and with this, like the prince is actually a kid. And then becoming a king, a queen. I think this is also announcing that transition. First of all, you feel like you are a kid experiencing this lifetime, experiencing that. Um, and then you recognize your power. And so you manifesting your wishes is what is going to make you recognize I am actually a queen or a king. So keep writing your story. That's the message of this card. And the light. So maybe you are a light worker. That's the message I get with this card especially. But you are about to bring light, to bring clarity in your life. I feel like this is also connected to like the star energy, a wish coming true, something passing by. And with the moon, again, this is a light, light connected to your dreams with a spotlight that can also be related to the light that shines upon you. So there is something coming definitely this is something big and this can also be connected you know with the spotlight i was talking about with the light appearing and the light in the background of this person entering the scene sometimes we may be afraid of what we manifest because we feel like we are not ready so we tend to overprotect ourselves and kind of want to run away i feel this can also be a message so instead of running away Try to see what this light, this new opportunity, this new energy is trying to offer you, is trying to teach you. Because this is what is going to make you be stronger and wiser. So now the messages. The first ones are going to be angel messages. So let's start. Creative writing. Oh my goodness. I am I'm telling you. I'm rediscovering the cards with you because I was preparing them so early. So yeah, writing your own story, creative writing. And the message is, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal and pen an article or book. <laughs> this can also be that you are a writer. So if that is your mission, then go ahead because this is clear here. Like you cannot doubt it anymore. And you can see the magic happening with the wand. So you are supported with the story you want to write for the future. Relationship, harmony. Beautiful and clarity as well here. And the blessing with this rainbow, kind of creating a protection as well. And the rainbow, by the way, is for me a bridge you know, that is coming from the darkness and then the sun is showing the clarity. So this is to make you aware that both energies, so darkness and clarity, are needed for us to become who we are and for us to also choose what is important or what is the path and the energy that we like the most. So that duality with the energy is necessary for your evolution. So relationship harmony. We angel are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Very beautiful. And the next message is, if someone is strong enough to bring you down, show them you are strong enough to get up. Like it. 
Remember what should be remembered and forget what should be forgotten. Alter what is changeable and accept what is unchangeable. Very wise. So that was it for the cards. Let's move on now with the other techniques. So I'm going to be started, starting with the spectrum. So this is evolution spectrum and I'm going to be using the charms. So this one, this grid is actually showing you where you are at with your manifestations. So we have inspiration, idea, draft, plan, creation, progress, result and completion. Let's see. We have W, so that can be a name. I heard so many things. So I have wish, so a wish coming true, winner energy, and will. So willing something is what is empowering that manifestation. And on this one, you can see the four number appearing next to the, to the letter. So this is talking about something finally being built. Being built into structure, so something that is about to be strong. So all around, I'm going to show you closer. Mm, this can be a new direction with a boat, a new direction for you, maybe a destination that you want to achieve for the future or travel to. I'm seeing meditation, so that may be something you need to do. With a dolphin, I'm seeing this as telepathy. So maybe something you send to the, to the universe is about to become real. I don't know why they, these were connected, but that can be talking about... Um, for me, the bike is a destination, movement, and with the, the, the mermaid, whoops, on top of this circle, this is for me protection, and the mermaid is actually a representation of your soul's calling, especially connected to the water energy, so emotions. What are your emotions telling you to do? What are your emotions leading you to? I think that's the message. And this is the angels bringing you love with this charm. So with the evolution, so in between draft and plan, we have the heart shape and the roses. So love may be still a project, a plan for you. Creation may be manifesting around July because with the crab season, it's going to be June, at the end of June and July with the cancer um, cancer season. Plan, I'm seeing your angels actually delivering a message for you to plan on something right now so you can create something later on. So that was the message with the charms. Let's continue. With this old greed. Um, so for this one, everything that will fall into the end is going to be announcing what is in your hand, what you are manifesting, and all around this is the universe working on these manifestations. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Cooking, maybe that is something you need to do, or that can be what you're cooking at the moment in your life is about to be tasty. Um, sleep, maybe listening to music. I think this is also a time for you to find comfort that may be needed. You! <laughs> okay, there's someone charming that's about to come. So the universe is manifesting for you. Recipe, it's funny how, you know, you had cooking and recipe, so maybe you are a chef, or like I shared, what you are about to manifest is going to be tasty. You have the recipe for your success. You have the recipe for you to be happy. A girl, what? <laughs> These are so connected. I feel like there's someone definitely wanting to connect with you. A girl, you. Like it. Um, party time. <laughs> okay. 
and there is a pizza appearing or sparkles i'm not sure but party time i'm saying this as craft so maybe being crafty creating or co-creating with the universe seeing someone being mad so working on your emotions may be important for you to manifest the best results on top of the roof we had this one also on the first group so being on top of your game manifesting success being on top achieving something big this one was also in the first group interesting um so remember this night and this can be london a travel maybe a destination you want to reach well that can be talking about a date that is going to happen at night discovery so be hoping to discover more my first travel story Ooh. <laughs> and that can be a long distance relationship for some people so traveling to your lover so everything this is connected to the end and the universe wow look at this the rocket it's going to manifest super fast the moment you're set on one thing the moment you know exactly what you want to manifest you will see it happen like super fast because you would, you're that powerful. You don't need to put too much energy, I believe, to see results, which is pretty good. And this is announcing growth. So in your hand. Uh, I'm seeing someone kind of being a bit soulless, not really knowing what to do, maybe, maybe thinking, overthinking, maybe. And that is something you have to work on. You need to know exactly where you want to go with travel appearing on these cards i feel like yes this is very important for you at the moment to think about where you want to go what you want to achieve who you want to become because that is going to provide direction for the universe to work with you okay so feeling satisfied you can see the winky winky and hug hug so maybe there is a connection with someone this can also be about hugging you like comforting you uh, being present for you when you feel this way so you can feel okay so that was the message of this reading honestly this is pretty good and exciting so i hope you like this one let me know in the comments what you think and if you know make sure to join our beautiful family and subscribe down below i will see you very soon crystal souls and if you want you can also find other readings we have general readings love readings etc and if you want you can also book a personal reading with me if you need more guidance and for that to be more personal so i wish you the best and i will see you on the next one bye bye and now the last one let's discover what you are manifesting so the first card is the hanged man don't be worried about this card okay this is just a warning for you to realign with your truth to realign with your true energy and manifest the best result and especially freedom for you you may feel a bit drained you may feel like you are sacrificing a lot or sacrificing yourself your time in different situations but this is supposed to end and you are supposed to be your own freer you can see yourself being locked um in the water so i feel like someone may be playing a role of like a trigger i'm not saying someone that is you know manifesting for you that that energy because you can always free yourself and this card is reminding you of your own power so you can stop okay and persevere towards the image you want to manifest you can see this guy not really minding the business that is happening here maybe someone that is trying to hide what is happening behind the scene with the curtain but this is telling you you have the power now it is time for you to be stronger and to say no to that treatment to say no to the things that are not satisfying for you on the water you can see the eye so i feel like you are being observed at this moment people are observing the way you react the way you you feel actually otherwise you can damn yourself to feel pain so honestly this card is a scream for you to wake up to find strength to get out of this situation because you deserve so much more better and trust me what is coming next for you with the other cards is a lot better but now i think you are at a certain point 
in your life where you need to make a decision, where you need to make change. And yeah, I'm going to show you. Look, we have one, one, one. So this is new energy. You are not meant to be stuck. This is a new story. And this is the angel number. Meaning you are supposed to write a new chapter. Meaning you are supposed to do things differently. When you will free yourself, you will see something changing, an opportunity coming. But first of all, open this lock. You know, beat this dude down. Get out. <laughs> Move on. Because you're not meant to be in that situation, in that scene. Free yourself. But of course, this can be related to emotions with the water being here. So being emotionally drained, feeling anxious, maybe being um, desperate about a situation, about something that is manifesting in your life. Maybe with the current situation, feeling locked at home is something you are not enjoying. So you feel a bit like in this box, condensed and condensed and you feel like you're just condemned. And now it is time for you to free yourself. Maybe to do activities that are allowing you to think differently or to think about something different, to be more present in the moment, present with yourself. So do some activities, free yourself, because next we have the justice card. So finding balance, okay, and freeing yourself is definitely the message of this card. So the truth is going to be revealed, and that can also be that in this time of feeling so condensed, of feeling trapped in a way, this is what is going to offer you new perspective. Truth is going to be revealed and your true self is also going to be revealed. And I'm seeing my twin flame number appearing. So that can also be a message for twin souls. And it's funny because actually my twin flame is a Libra and the justice card is connected to Libra energy. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, Twinny, for this message. I believe is also playing a role in my readings and that is happening quite often. So yeah, thank you. Uh, so free your soul. I'm seeing the S here. So free your soul. Find your own path. Find your own truth. Find balance especially. That can also be some justice case handing for some people. So freedom. Mm, success as well. Because on top you can see the star appearing. So finding success, clarity, again, very connected to the truth, maybe passion, because we have the fire of the sun appearing, entering the scene. Truth is going to be revealed. Your heart is on fire. There's a calling from your heart that you cannot ignore anymore. Do not condense yourself. Do not trap yourself, you know, with situations, with what people say. Turn it off. Turn the radio off. If this is not supporting the image you want to create, the experience, the life you want to live, you have to choose for yourself. You live for yourself. You came here for yourself, not to satisfy another party. And listen to your inner truth. Because on this card, you can see the role of like the angel and the, the, the devil. Although I do not believe in the devil or anything. But I feel like there is some dualism within your mind that is making you feel a bit imbalanced sometimes. You do not feel like, okay, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. I don't know how to react anymore. But now this energy is new and this is giving you clarity and balance, freedom especially. You are supposed to shine and you can see the sparks all around in the background so you are shining and this can be why you are poorly treated because people are seeing you shining so bright they're seeing you finding balance and success and abundance and happiness and they are craving for this so this is why they may try to influence you but you know that you have to remain you know into a positive energy and listen to the positivity, to your guides and angels and not to the, the chatter around that is not positive or supporting your harmony. This is deep. I really like it. And again, the curtains are appearing. So there is some revelation and truth that is definitely going to happen. And this is what is going to Free yourself and deliver something new in your life. So be ready for what you are manifesting, which is pretty bright. 
Nature of the beast. So understand your true nature. Why you came here in the very first place and decide what is your true nature. Do you want to listen to the positive speech around you or to the chatter and temptation and people being here around you trying to drag you down with them? No, you want to remain positive. You want to remain around people that are inspiring you, that are allowing you to be happy, to sparkle, to be your true self. So this is a card reminding you of this. To not change too much of who you are, but just to listen to who you are and to remain in that energy. Because you will manifest that reflection. Your life is your mirror, your reflection. So if you do not like your life, then it is time for you to tune within and to recognize who you are and what you project around you. Because this is going to free yourself from a situation, free yourself from the character you was playing all along. But if this character is not satisfying for you, if this character is trapped, if you do not feel like you are your, your own hero in your story, then it is time for you to redefine your nature. Because, you know, uh, uh, an animal cannot be too much directed. They're wild, especially this one. So that means, yes, they don't really have a choice but just to be their wild self. But you have a choice as a human being to change who you are, to mold yourself differently and to finally embody the image that is satisfying for you. Because who you embody today is going to define your tomorrows these experiences you will attract in your life. And you can see the path and the steps on this card. So this is talking about this evolution, ascension, direction. What direction do you want to take right now? Which will help you with that change in evolution. The Queen of Hearts. I really love this card because this is very deep. This is a card reminding you that, you know, self-sacrifices and this is definitely the, the theme of this card as well. If you was, if you were sac sacrificing yourself in the past, now it is time for you to free yourself. It is time for evolution. You can see the E appearing with the serpent. So it is time for you to evolve. It is time for you to recognize that these wounds from sacrifices were also needed for you to become your new self and for you to define and design this new life. This is what is creating new opportunities for you, but also making you more wise. So these lessons you learned through that evolution is actually to mature as a soul. And this is exactly why you came here on earth, why you chose okay, to manifest, to embody this human being. Because this form of life is allowing you to experience life differently than you being in your soul or you being a higher self or a spirit. So this is to remind you that you came here to learn, okay, to see that these evolution, these events are building you differently. But this is also connected to love all the time. This is for you to bloom, to grow. As you can see and you can see these are flowers roses and this is talking about love so you need to possess love within so no matter what is happening no matter how painful experiences may be you will remain strong you will you will also always find a path towards freedom because you can see the path in in the background and the mountains the mountains are for me um, a representation of strength, you being courageous and strong enough. So that path is just showing you possibilities. And again, the E is appearing. Maybe this is also some initial from a place, from what you do, uh, from a person even, or maybe your name. And with the horns, this reminds me of the horns of the deer. So this is the king of the forest and you are the queen actually. So this is a card telling you to regain power, 
to be empowered thanks to these experiences, even though they were painful. These were necessary for your evolution, for you to become who you are today. So embrace it, welcome it. Be thankful that these things happened. Dream time. Maybe there is some connection when you go to sleep. Maybe the dreams that you have are really important for you to study. On the background, I'm seeing kind of like the... I'm not sure how you call that. I forgot. What is the name? The tornado. This is the <laughs> tornado. So I feel like because this is in the background, this is something that is connected to your past. So this is not defining your story, the dream, your creation anymore. You are creating and you are well aware of your power to manifest that. This may sound funny for you guys, but when I'm looking at this dude, I was thinking of Sadhguru. So maybe this is also a guru or someone that is an inspiration for you to level up and for you to ascend or awaken spiritually. And this guru or master or teacher is about to transform your universe and influence you to transform your dream. Because this life that you have is a dream. You're making it. You're building it. That is your experience. That is a memory of the soul. But you are still in that dream. And so you can create any type of story you want. You know, when you dream, for example, sometimes when you are aware that you are dreaming, you can change your dream. So this is called this is called lucid dreaming. So this is telling you to do the same thing when it comes to your life. Because yes, you can shape anything in this lifetime. You can change your story. You can write things differently. So this is reminding you that this life, this experience is a dream, this is your making, and you can shape it in any form that you want. You can be this expression, expression of life. And you can see balance again with the position. And they both have the same position, finding balance. Maybe finding someone that is reflecting your energy is also announced on this card. So that can be creation of a relationship with someone that is your mirror. Rain, purification. That is what you need if you're still stuck, if you're still in that situation. Because for some people, this can be past energy. For some people, this can be present. For some, it may be future challenges. But this is reminding you to be strong. So you can free yourself from that, purify the energy, free yourself from that energy and allow the rain, which is acting like a purification, to also nurture yourself. Just like the ground, the soil, you need water, you need the sun as well, so you can grow. So you have the sun on this card, the water on this card. So this is telling you that you are going to grow, that you are growing things to these experiences from the past, to these lessons. And so you are leveling up and understanding your true nature and acting upon the character or this nature you're choosing to embody. Photo album. So that can also be related to the picture you want to create. And this can also be related to the past, memories. Now you have to understand that these memories are not your story anymore. You need to detach yourself from a story, especially if this one is not supporting your new self, your new life, this new energy you are creating, the balance, this harmony you are creating. Okay, so photo album. Just keep good memories in this album, in the past, in the memory, okay? And the rest, you know, Throw it away. You don't want to keep uh, like pictures or memories as a symbolic. That is not fun. You don't want to go back in the album and see pictures of people you don't like or see pictures of you crying or being heard. No, you just want to see happy moments. You just want to have a good time looking back. But you also want to have a good time seeing the picture you are creating for the future being present in the moment. So this is reminding you that the memories from the past, but also the one you are creating now and those you will experience in the future are important. So create this album, create that picture, 
because you are provided that perspective with the window here this is talking about perspective and projection maybe you are about to move in another place as well or maybe another place mentally emotionally or physically as well but i feel like this is some transition for you because you can see you know she's actually looking at the book on the floor kind of opening up um boxes so that may be related to that or that can be related to like opening up within to see okay what can i do you know some cleaning within or maybe moving things out and allowing things to reside in buzzy thinking about you like that um, so again, this perspective with the window, the stars here. So this is showing you clarity and you're reading. So that can be related to your story. You are manifesting a new story, a new chapter. And with the books as a pile here, this is for me connected to like past stories or past lives even. And so now you are aware that you can write a new story, experience a new story, be your own hotter and enjoy this new story. So loud um, and you can also see the um, the computer and I heard office so that can be working from home maybe that's a dream of yours and the universe is kind of entering the scene as you can see this is not outside the window this is entering the scene entering your universe so that is definitely a sign that the universe your guides are helping you to manifest these things in your life they are entering your universe and with this huge window this mean you do not have to be afraid to dream big this perspective this image you have even though some people may not believe this is possible you will manifest it so trust yourself your power I love this one as well because when I'm seeing this card I'm thinking of so many possibilities in front of you what do you want I'm going to I'm going to give it to you. That's pretty much the the message from the universe. So you insert your coin, right? You choose your pick and then you receive it. This is as simple as that. So the choices you make are very important because this is helping you to co-create with the universe. And that can also be related to that. If you feel like a victim, if you feel you're trapped in a situation and you're just seeing that situation as your future, your possibility. Be aware that is what you're asking for. You're putting that coin over and over again. You're sending to the universe, that's what I want, bring it to me. But now, you have the possibility to use that coin, use that energy, to take something you enjoy, to taste. Alright, so... Be on freer in that story because you don't want to reside here. Okay, it is time for you to pick something else that is tasty. The luggage, which is again very connected to like opening boxes, discovering what is inside. So maybe something is still closed and you may not see it at the moment because you may be in that situation. And this is not allowing you to see. And the mask as well is here. Or Oh, that can also be another scenario. It can be that you're not showing your true nature to people because you are afraid to be judged. Because of justice, making a judgment. So it is time for you to remove that mask if you're doing this so people can see who you truly are. Because they want to connect with your true self and not with a character. So opening up, or that can also be announcing a trouble for you. Maybe a box, an opportunity, a new direction as well. This is a strong message. Honestly, my, my crown chakra during all these readings is so open and the words are just like flowing. This is just clear. <laughs> so now, speaking of messages. Wow, and, and again, I'm seeing my twin flame number appearing on the microphone so maybe that's connected to the message i'm about to read yes definitely teaching and learning keep an open mind and learn new ideas then teach these ideas to others so being a light being an inspiration opening a book teaching people learning from people as well um and i'm saying yes because you know your twin soul 
and yourself as a twin soul is supposed to teach and learn from also what your twin is experiencing from a distance. But also, this lifetime, this embodiment in this human form is here to teach a lot and to learn a lot. So you are about to teach and receive that lesson, that learning as well. And this is talking about new ideas. So you are meant to spread your ideas. You're meant to spread maybe a new story for yourself. You can see the flames. So that can be a message for twin flames as well. Sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Honor yourself and your feelings. Sensitivity. And the garden's here, blooming. So this is announcing growth. With the birds all around, this is reminding me of like the voice of freedom. Freedom, love, especially. And you can see the angel. So you're supposed to free yourself. Find harmony. Because with the, the instrument, this can also be you doing music or the art. Because I was getting the instrument as well on this one. Maybe picture. So maybe being a photographer or creating pictures, being a model as well, that's the vibe I'm getting. But free yourself and live the dream. Let us treasure every day in our life because the beginning of the day will be the first day in our remaining life. Let us treasure every day in our life because the beginning of the day will be the first day in our remaining life. Wow. That's so connected to like being present in the moment, which is super important. That's the only thing that truly exists. If you can see it. And the last message before I move on with the other techniques. Everybody will make mistakes. That's why they put erasers on the end of a pencil. Yes, if you blame yourself because you sacrificed yourself, because you did your best for someone but you never received anything back, don't play this blame game, okay? Just accept what is, what happened. You did your best, this person did their best. The situation, what what it was, okay? Just, it is what it is, my friend. <laughs> it's funny because this is probably in my mind, I think two times in this video. So that is it. Um, so now I'm going to move on with the other techniques and see what you're manifesting. So the first one I'm going to be using is the Evolution Spectrum Grid and I'm going to be using the charms. So this way we know, you know, these things that will fall. So where you are at with your manifestations. Let's see. Wow, my twin flame number appeared once again. This is so crazy. Three times. You're so loud. <laughs> okay, so W, M, L. This is my initials. Interesting. So W, I'm hearing wishing, a wish coming true. Four is about stability. So building something strong. Wishing big as well. M, so that can be a name. And I heard message. So maybe a messenger, someone that is here to bring you a message. The three number is about growth. So maybe a message of growth. The owl. Funny enough, this is my spirit animal. <laughs> maybe this is actually my pile. And a new direction with the hem. Okay, direct yourself where you want to go with your story. Use your intuition. And these can also be places, name, words that pops in your mind. So inspiration, the seahorse is appearing. So that can be especially an inspiration coming from your emotions because this is water, a water animal. Love. This can be something you are still like kind of creating in the mind. And number one is new beginning. So that is only starting to manifest for you. Or thinking about this. Because this is connected to like idea and then boom, manifesting. So plan, there's nothing. We have creation. 
kind of seeing this as innocence or childhood. Creation can be manifesting in winter. I'm seeing love, kind of like Cupid sending the arrow for you to fall in love. Uh, a new direction. This is reminding me of a friend, so maybe there is a message here. Maybe that's something also connected to like taking a new direction and allowing yourself to just kind of like smoothly direct yourself out there. You don't have to walk and take so much action. It's just, um, you know, rolling on the ground. Progress and creation. I'm seeing change with the butterfly transformation, especially. So you are manifesting transformation and change. Result, I am seeing love. Maybe this is also talking about the evolution. Meeting the right person. Maybe that's a name as well. And then things evolving. Creating an opportunity. Cupid or maybe the universe and your higher self and angels are creating that uh, opportunity of love. And progress. Love again. Create, uh, result. Love again. And the key. So that can also be someone that is connected to your soul family. Because for me the key... Kind of represent the eye priestess. So this is someone that is here to deliver some truth. And that's a true connection here. And with the ego, this is someone connected to your spirit. Or calling from your spirit, especially. Luck with the clever and progress. And P is completion. So that can be a name. I heard Portugal. Mm, maybe Lisbon. For some people, that's a place that may be important. And it doesn't have to be with like meeting someone. This can be about transformation or travel that you plan. Maybe that's also a place that may be important. Or that can be P as a place. Place of growth. Or a word. Or, or a name. Whatever is popping in your mind is your message. So that was it for the charms. Let's continue with the... Let's continue with the other grid. So this one, everything that will fall into the hand is something that you are manifesting with your hands, that is in your hands, and all around this is the universe working on this. Let's do that. Let's see. So we have dancing, I'm seeing someone cutting a piece of paper, so being crafty. And I'm seeing the moon, so that can be about working on your dreams, so that, that can actually manifest. With dancing, I'm also seeing this as performance in order for you to master what you're doing, what you're trying to create. Yeah, pressure, definitely, so work on that. The crown, regain your power, be the queen, be the king. I'm seeing someone coming for you, definitely overthinking, not wanting to hear the noise. Yeah, so there is maybe some truth you need to face and accept and move on from, because this is also to empower yourself. That is teaching you something at the moment. And we have the card teaching and learning, so you need to also accept what is happening. Observe. Observe. Mm, I'm seeing this as proposal. Maybe someone coming your way, proposing to you. Sunny day, finally, bright energy for you. And you can see the sun with the justice card. So definitely the sun is about to enter your life. Mm, someone that may be like pausing, kind of studying what is happening in front of you. Are you angry? Yeah, that that's, you know, this was kind of the energy working on these emotions. Because otherwise you manifest even more. Maybe people being anxious about about how you feel, about your situation as well. It is time for you to co-create a new story. As you can see on the scene. So panting together. So maybe there is an image that you want to manifest with someone. This can also be talking about someone you love, maybe a friend, maybe your mom. Um, that is helping you to manifest things differently, that is an inspiration, th that is a messenger. Because we had the M appearing, remember? So this can be someone that is here inspiring you. 
Okay, okay. So in your hand, I'm seeing a connection. This can be a friend, this can be a lover, this can be someone you just vibe, uh, vibe with, and that is making you happy. So having a fun time together, this is what you are manifesting at the moment, and I believe this is what you need as well, connections, and connection with the people that are important for you and that are making you happy especially. So this was it for your reading. I hope you like this one. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this one. And if you new, make sure to join our beautiful family and subscribe down below. If you want, you can also check my other readings. I have general readings, love readings, guidance, anything that you need. If you want a personal reading, by the way, of all the information, as you may know, Take care of you and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.